Hi, this is Martin Broman with Progressive News. It's Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. Beware of false prophets. I mean, don't fall for any more shilleries. Uh, here, I'll explain in a second. This month, the billionaire investor Robert Smith stunned many when he offered to pay off the student loans of the 2019 graduating class at Morehouse College, the historically black college in Atlanta, the alma mater of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Last month, Elizabeth Warren unveiled a sweeping plan to cancel most student loan debt while making public colleges tuition free. In an online statement announcing the plan, Warren said she would, quote, make free college truly universal, not just in theory, but in practice, by making higher education of all kinds more inclusive and available to every single American, especially lower income, black and Latinx students, without the need to take on debt to cover costs. Vermont Independent Senator Bernie Sanders made free public college a cornerstone of both his 2016 and now his 2020 campaign. Though Senator uh, Warren says her idea goes further, we continue our conversation with the Jean. Okay, democracy now, you just fucked up, okay? I mean, how do you even compare Elizabeth Warren to Bernie Sanders? Uh... I could go on and on, but how about the fact that Elizabeth Warren refused to endorse Bernie Sanders and when the, uh, I think she's from Massachusetts, and Bernie, I think, uh, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because they had the whole thing rigged with the superdelegates, but uh, her endorsement there a lot of people have said to me that they think Bernie would have won if she had endorsed him. It was early in the race. And she's just a sucker, man. She's a suck up. She's a suck up to the Clintons. I mean, you can see her gushing over them so often. And she refused to endorse Bernie. And, you know, now that we've crushed Hillary, here she comes trying to fuck with Bernie, basically. She's obnoxious, man. Hey, here's what I really think of her, okay? I, I haven't even said what I really think of her. I think she's a racist. I think she's from Oklahoma City or Tulsa, Oklahoma, either way. I mean, these are very racist places. Uh, I think she's a pretend uh, blue-collar type of hero. I think that she grew up trying to be a successful businesswoman in a white male capitalist economy. And when she got the chance to say, look, I'm right and you're wrong, they crushed her. You know, when she said default swaps were going to destroy the economy and they said no and they crushed her. The white this capitalist establishment crushed her. She came back thanks to millions of people like me who supported her, and I do support her in that respect, but that's all she's good for. She's just coming up with this free college thing now just because she does, she'll say anything. She'll say anything, and I'm not saying she doesn't uh, intend to try to do what, but see, that's what Hillary was so famous for. Hillary would try to get everything. Hillary tried to get universal health care and failed. And she intentionally failed. And Warren will do the same thing. I mean, look at this. They, uh, what's her name? Hillary did the same thing. She said the same bullshit. And I made this meme. Maybe I'm just stupid, but Hillary supporters have convinced people that she has a better, better claim, better plan for making college affordable. What? What's more affordable than free? I mean, that's what Bernie's advocating. Free and total access. So produce enough 
create enough schools that everybody who wants a free education can get one. So this is this stupidity, this white woman stupidity. I mean, I want a white woman to be president too. You know, I want a black woman to be president. Be quite honest, if right now, uh, uh, what's her name? <laughs> See, I can't remember because she barely makes it in. Unless you watch Bernie rallies, you wouldn't even know who she is. Nina Turner. And I wish that Bernie, if he, you know, I love Bernie because we wouldn't be here right now talking about any of this if it wasn't for Bernie. I picked Bernie. We, we were uh, looking at Hillary Clinton and nobody else. Why is 2016 so different from 2020? In 2016, Hillary was our only choice. There were no other candidates. No other. I was sitting there. I was on the Democratic uh, board uh, groups and Facebook getting kicked out constantly because I kept saying can I have somebody else to choose from so I I'm sure there were other people who figured it out just like I did and they were because I, I ran into them you know in these groups that I kept getting kicked out of uh, Facebook groups like Liberal America and uh, Democratic Cafe and stuff like that uh, you'd say, well, I don't want to vote for Hillary. I want somebody else. And all these, they seemed like lesbians to me, to be quite honest. Because I'd look at their profiles and they were very butch. And uh, just, we called them Clintonistas. <laughs> so, we developed the vacuum we developed, we gathered all the people together who didn't want to vote for Hillary as the Democratic nominee. We wanted some options. And somebody over at Bernie's, you know, he, he was just thinking about running at the time, saw that and said, you know, Bernie, there's, there's a big demand for something... Well, I'd just say what Bernie is. He's more real than than Hillary. I mean, at the time, Hillary was for TPP and for fracking and just any number of bullshit, stupid ideas. But, uh, so we weren't interested in her at all. The gold standard. So, um... You know, when I look at Warren, there's no way, man. There's no way. She's a fucking politician. She's a woman who is so desperate for success. And obviously the Senate isn't enough, right? She's got to, or Congress or whatever she's in. Now she's got to try for president. And she's so desperate for it that really... Well, if she's so desperate for it that she would run over Bernie, our man, who isn't even our first choice. Like I said, I'd take Nina Turner or half a dozen other people, but we can't because, and Bernie's great, Bernie's great, don't get me wrong, but he's not ideal. He is, I mean, he's more or less a... Uh, God, why am I afraid to say communist? Communist just means that you care about people. That's all communist means. Everybody like wants to think of Stalin when you think of a communist. Stalin wasn't even a communist. The communist system was rich and poor. There was no communism in Russia after maybe Lenin. I don't know. But, you know, um... He's he's our choice because he I mean we would like I said earlier we wouldn't even be here talking about it right now because there would have never been a movement there would have never been a revolution political revolution but we 
created the vacuum. Bernie was sucked into that. He has the creds. He did 2016. He got punished. No, we did not like this deal he made to support Hillary and campaign for Hillary afterwards. Because you are you might as well be campaigning for, for Trump. I mean, there's no difference between the two of them. I mean, I don't know if I have this picture in here. But a picture... says a thousand words, right? I mean, I know I do have it in here, but where exactly? I don't know. There it is. I mean, that says it all, right? I like to say that I think they probably did the wipe swapping thing that night. Uh, it's just, I mean, God, politics is so fucking obnoxious. Bernie's a breath of fresh air. Bernie is a communist. Bernie went down to Nicaragua to talk with the Sandinistas and find out what was really going on. He He's unwilling to call himself a communist. He plays this little game, dances around the name uh, Democratic Socialist. Instead of trying to rehabilitate the name communist, I'm a communist. I completely support, um, well, not this version of capitalism, but capitalism as a mechanism to make things better for supply people with the things that they need and want. Sometimes, you know, if you can manage to produce enough, then you give people what they want as well as what they need. Uh, but I don't dance around this, uh, this name. I'm not going to let people intimidate me into not calling myself a communist. I'm a communist. I'm a communist. I'm a communist. And all the communism means is that I care about the suffering of my fellow citizens. That's all. It's not, oh, I want to overthrow the government because... The government is controlled by bad people who don't care, which is true, but I don't want to. I don't want to overthrow the government. It's not, uh, I want to install uh, uh, an economy where people like me decide how to distribute everything. No. No. I want to slowly evolve into an economy that supplies demand which is a capitalist concept. I mean, 90% of what I believe is communism, as far as a system, is, is already in Keynesian capitalism. <laughs> I've said this a hundred times, I don't know if any of you get it, but the fact is, is that under Keynesian capitalism, you have, uh, uh, no barriers to access, which means that banks lend people with great ideas money, and they create it, uh, companies that compete. No barriers to competition. People actually compete. They're not allowed to get together and monopolize the situation and, and price fix. Well, when you do that, when people actually have to compete, then you have to cut your profits down to nothing because the people competing in order to produce the lowest price for the which is why people will buy what they have unless what they have is so unique and so amazing that they don't have to do that and they can kind of gouge people but for the most part if we allow people to get into the the market and compete they will have to compete by lowering their prices because that's how they'll compete, right? I mean, you want to buy bread today, you look at the price at Walmart, you look at the price of Kroger's, and, and you pick which one has the lowest price. You go buy it. That forces Walmart to cut their profits. Now, at some point, one company 
is less competitive uh, as in it's it's not producing it's uh, too expensive its costs are too high and the other company isn't so that company goes out of business or it lowers its price the point is is that they l keep on lowering their prices until their profits are very small as small as they can make their profits uh, without going out of business right well that's communism that's communism you're simply forcing the owners and the, the profit takers to take as little as possible because they have to compete so c communism exists in capitalism and communism exists anyway all the communism is is saying come on let's figure out a way to live our lives happily right I mean that's really all the communism is when you say communism is caring about other people you're saying okay so let's produce a system where everybody you know is treated fairly kind of like what our justice system is supposed to be like huh? and it's not either fact is is all of our systems are corrupted by people that's what we need to fix we need to end the corruption everybody knows this we hear about it every day we hear about countries all every single country right oh the people are marching why because their politicians are corrupt right except for a few places like Nicaragua <laughs> the people don't come out against M Maduro only the capitalists who can raise uh, some people up to come out are coming out uh, and they have they they come out in the thousands and uh, the sh uh, Chavistas the Ch Chavez supporters come out in mil millions because six million out of the ten million or whatever in the country are very happy that uh, their country is run by a communist he's a communist they don't have a communist system they have a capitalist system and that's part of the reason that there's still a problem and you know if if uh, Chavez had simply done what he could have when he became president and crushed the capitalists out of existence and taken over first of all the country would be a lot better off it'd be like Cuba which Cuba is an overpopulated tiny island whose closest trading partner is its mortal enemy, the United States. So yeah, I mean, the economy is not going to be great. But it's so great that they can send, recently sent, uh, I don't know how many doctors to Mozambique. Because they, you know, probably can't produce en enough rice to feed their people, but they can produce enough doctors to send them to different countries. And hopefully that will make them some money and they can buy some rice from China or something, right? Okay, so my point is, is that Bernie runs away from the term communist. He goes for democratic socialist. Well, there's plenty of socialists or democratic socialists I know who are so vehement and violent and militant they'd make me, a communist, <laughs> look like, you know, a pacifist. And I am, pretty much anyway, right? I mean, I don't want to fight anybody. I don't want to fight. I don't want other people to fight. I know what happens when people fight. People get hurt, you know? Everybody makes, I mean, the, they threw me in jail for terroristic threatening, and I don't want to fight anybody. All I wanted to do was point out how they're pissing everybody off. How is that being violent in any way? Just pointing out that they're making people so angry that sooner or later somebody's going to want to kill somebody or blow something up. You know, that's all I was trying to point out. I was trying to point it out to myself and they overheard me. They throw me in jail. <laughs> okay. 
and that won't stand. Sooner or later, somebody, I'll bring this in front of a court somewhere where there's somebody with just a modicum of common sense, and they'll be able to see that I was not threatening anybody, that I was uh, simply having a discussion, and it was for my new show, the one that you're listening to right now. So, don't I, I just don't seem to believe that there's any reason that we can't rehabilitate this word communism. I mean, Jesus was a communist. Socrates was a communist. Plato, you know, all these people. What do you think they came up with the idea of a republic for? You know, democracy. Why, why were they coming up with these ideas? It was the people trying to come up with a way to run the country they were in in a way that would, uh, you know, diminish uh, you know, people fighting, people infighting and, and, and uh, well, fighting over things, you know, pretty much. Trying to figure out a way to cut that down in that. So, um, you know, Warren's just, uh, she's just another, another shill, another shill, another shillery. Um, you know, she won't even support universal health care. So, and I wasn't even going to mention her name, but then I saw how they, they mentioned it in the beginning of this this broadcast uh, as far as uh, education goes there's one obvious solution uh, that you force all the schools like Harvard and Yale and Princeton to let you videotape the classes and then you just make the classes available to everybody and we can take the classes, um, we can mail in the tests or do the tests online, or they can set up testing, you know, and they can set up uh, places for people to ask questions or something. But really, you know, these big companies, they have that all figured out for us already. I mean, when you go to Facebook, you can't talk to anybody. You get your answers by going to the help section. Well, we can do the same thing. I mean, I can get on YouTube and find the answer to just about any question I have. Like if I want to know how to fix the radiator in my 87 Chevy Malibu. Well, what do I do? I get on here and I say radiator uh, let's say 97 Chevy Malibu and you got so so all I'm saying is, is that you know the number of questions people have after they watch a class usually they could just rewind the tape and watch it again or uh, rewind the video you know rewind you can tell when I was born right <laughs> in 1960 so you know but but they could they could usually just you know run a video yeah, and the they watch the whole video and uh, they realize that they still don't know what they want to know they just have to back up and they can find what they need to know other than that, for people who are really dense and they just couldn't figure out what the guy was saying in the video, there would be, like, let's say you couldn't figure this out. Well, then you would just uh, Google it, right? And you'd get your answer. And if you didn't, there'd be somebody somewhere that you could email and they would add a video in to... to, to 
answer your question. And no more college, no more expenses. I mean, once the whole college system, all the classes, are just videotapes on a system like YouTube, how expensive would that be to run? Nothing. It would cost nothing. The, uh, the books could be e-books and uh, audio books and people could just download them and read them and, and uh, listen to them. How cool would that be? How great a way would that be to, to learn how to be a, a marine biologist <laughs> or an architect, you know? I'm talking about George Costanza now. So you see my point here? Um, and and Warren doesn't care. And Warren wasn't here and she didn't help in 2016. She fucked us. She screwed us. So, you know, as far as all this stuff goes, Let's just, let's just stick with Bernie, people. Um, you know, I used to say the same thing back in 2000. Actually, it was late 2014 when I started all this. Uh, maybe middle of 2014 even. Because just like now, we start these stupid... Uh, you know, so early. And I can remember way back before Bernie, way before, at least three months before Bernie joined, at least three months before the journey joined, we were fighting over somebody, anybody besides Hillary. And guess who we courted first? Yeah, tell me what an idiot I was. Elizabeth Warren. You know, I, I mean, I liked Elizabeth Warren. All I knew about her was that she was against, you know, the white, the club, the big club, Wall Street and all these. And it turns out that Wall Street owns her, by the way. But, you know, I'd heard about how she'd gotten screwed. But in fact, that's all that ever motivated her. She's just a, a white woman who got upset by the way white businesses manipulate and uh, screw everybody and cheat people. I mean, that's her whole stick, really. I mean, everything else is an outgrowth of trying to compete with Bernie and, and true progressives. And at the same time, she tries to compete in the other direction, just like Hillary did. She tries to outflank people on the right. So she'll, she'll split. You know, people should just look at the issues, make sure that they're really uh, up on the issues, and make their own decisions and just be honest about it. I mean, I don't support illegal immigration. I'm open about that. I support gay rights. I support homosexuals do what they want in the privacy of their own home and to be openly gay but I don't say that I like homosexuality I, I admit that it disgusts me as you know it makes me want to puke when I think of two guys like that when I see television shows with guys kissing like uh, Star Trek Discovery wonderful program but I don't want to see these two guys making out and telling each other how they love each other and everything no offense I mean I don't have anything against homosexuals and I tolerate it I tolerate it on that program I tolerate it when I see it in in real life but it does sicken me okay absolutely sickens and disgusts me and when homosexuals when they go too far I don't, I don't support that, because I think it's going too far to flaunt it in somebody like mine's face uh, just to bother us uh, when they try and sell like, I, like my gay friend, one of my gay friends, 
uh, who's not my friend anymore, tried to tell me that I'm really gay and just insisted constantly that, I, oh, you really are gay, you just don't know it, and all this shit. You know, I don't have to put up with that, so I ditched him. And I'm open about that. I'm honest about that. I'm I, I'm not afraid. I don't care if you don't want to. I'm not running for office, so I don't care if you want to vote for me or you want to agree with me or whatever. But I don't have to put up with that bullshit. And I don't have to be a liberal. I can be conservative if there's something that, like abortion. I don't agree with allowing a woman. You can go back through all my segments and see all of this. I don't agree that a woman should have a right to take the law into her own hands. She shouldn't be allowed to decide to murder the baby inside of her. You know, it's up to the people and the scientists to figure out when that baby is a human being, an American citizen, and has all the rights, and the human rights and the civil rights of a person, even if it is in her belly, right? Even if it, it was produced by rape, you know, at some point, and, and you don't give some, well, you're going to give some dumbass hillbilly chick in a trailer trash the right to decide whether to kill that baby or not. You know, yeah, you know, that's not right. So I'm not a conservative and I'm not a liberal. I'm a progressive and progressives make their minds up based on the facts. We can argue the facts all day long. Sooner or later, somebody's got to make a decision. I'm willing to live with those decisions. You know, if you guys want to allow a million foreigners to flood into the country every year I'll, I'll live with that if that's what progressives decide to do I think it's wrong I think it's dangerous I think it's going to create problems I don't think it's going to destroy the country they will become Americans and they will learn to, to live as Americans but whatever you guys decide is okay with me but, let's have an honest and open and intelligent, highly intelligent. All of our decisions should be made based on the highest intelligence. All the facts. We should model reality in detail so that we are making our decisions based on reality. Reality based. That's all I ask of progressives. And everybody else get the fuck out of the way, man. The Republicans, the conservatives, the liberals, the ones who base all their bullshit on just because they say so. You know, they don't actually have uh, an arsenal of, uh, of arguments and, and a reality-based model of reality and things like that, like I'm talking about. They just, for whatever reasons, I would gather that it's for personal reasons. So therefore, it's more like Republicans, like conservatives, like establishment Democrats. It's more targeted to help them or the people around them who support them, right? That's what I'm against. I'm trying to move us up one notch to nationalism. Not white nationalism, nationalism, where the whole country takes care of itself. Yes, at some point like it to be the whole world but let's make that step after we manage to make the step to nationalism okay all right i think i've covered everything and everything related i know you may not be able to understand quite how all this stuff relates but it does it's all tied together it's like when you look at the kennedy assassination you can't understand it until you understand the Dallas Council on uh, Trade and uh, the Warren Report and, uh, you know, everything and Cubans at the Cabana, Cabana Hotel and all, everything. You can't understand it until you get the whole web and you see what is really going on. So, you know, that's how I do my segments. I do try to cover 
everything and I almost always forget something but I think I've got it pretty well covered here so uh, this is Martin Drummond with Progressive News I hope you enjoyed my segment uh, thank you